Well, he is the best bantamweight in the world or close to it, right? He has said that to everyone with an earshot all week, finally getting a shot at the belt, and he has no intention of missing out on this opportunity. He believes he's going to be the new champ by next time. Yeah, he thinks he's going to be done. He believes that it's only a matter of time before he's the champion of the world. He said he has done everything to prepare himself. His mind is ready. His body is ready. His team is ready. It is not just you out there. Your team has to be lock and sync with the athlete. He believes that they are all on the same page to become the champion. And he does believe he has occupied some headspace in the champion. I'm not so sure that's the reality. We're gonna find out here. UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva, but the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight. You get to make your mark on this great arena. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Dodson. Another good shot. Dodson circling to his right now. Oh, nice hook. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> Make the bad man stop. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Nice straight right hand. That was great head movement. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Just over three minutes to go now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Yes! 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 Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent.
Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh, useful trip to get the takedown here in the clinch. Back to his feet. Side kick now. Past the two-minute mark in round one. Superman punch, not always easy to execute, he did so there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. and gets lit up by that straight punch. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Let's go. Keep oh, and he goes for the hook now. It's good. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but... When you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. Oh, right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot again, potentially. You could tell, John, he's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side his big power side, so he'll keep bait, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Slips the punch. <laughs> Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. And yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight. And now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because he's looking for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. So he lands another counter strike there, all set up by his brilliant job defensively, getting that head off of the center line and using his opponent's aggression against them. Nicely done. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Keep your hands up. Use your now. It's okay. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. 
Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, beautifully timed on the overhand right counter. And the switch kick lands. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the heart is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Nice job there to minimize damage. Under two minutes now to go. Ooh, head kick lands from Hirsch. So again, trying to bait his opponent in here, looking to set up yet another counter. Yes, that's exactly what he's doing. He wants and needs his opponent to strike first. Not always easy being a counter striker. The crowd can get on you a little bit. But he has not deviated from the game plan here tonight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by John Dotson. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Dodson's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Slips. One minute to go, round two. Back and forth we go. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Try to establish that jab. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Big right hand. There's the horn. Plenty of action to digest from that. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. Round three of a possible five. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cup with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. All right. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by John Dodson. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. 
Need some work, guys. They're trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Nice jab. Beautiful job landing that head kick. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Feels like the beginning of the end. Nice job blocking that punch. Dodson's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Three minutes to go. Guess the single collar time now. Now lands a solid punch there. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back in quite the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice crack there. Trying to pound him out. Big ground strikes here. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to... Oh! He's hurt. Just missed with the left there. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Dodson's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of time that is used to manage space. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally, he is not back in this fight after that knockdown earlier in the round. I mean, we thought the fight was over, so I guess it's a credit to him to still even be fighting. But he's got to do something different if he has any designs of winning this fight. That shot blocked by Dodson. Final seconds of round three. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. Oh! This is big. That's big. Dodson's cut is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, 
Nice kick. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good going forward. Let's go. He's going to be first now. Another one. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. All right, north south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so now we start to see some bruising here on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Well, the fighter certainly wants to stay in it. It's been a great fight thus far. And it looks like, at least for now, he's going to be allowed to stay in this fight. We'll see how long he can last. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, well, this fighter was bullish of his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back on the way. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on the shield. And that's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like doctor stoppages, so they'll thrill. They start booing. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side huh. of his head. Dodson gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, starting to open up a little bit. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry this through these very tough moments. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Big overhand right. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more used to strikes, he's landing. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Under two minutes to go in the round. Checks the leg kick. strike gets through. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to make. Dodson gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a... Oh, no. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting. Oh! Huge right hand! Ooh, diving punch lands. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Final seconds. Dodson's in half guard. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I've seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside position. It's hard to watch, John. Like that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. 
It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when we see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. Oh! Back to the feet. Strong outside leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connect. Oh! He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.